Hi folks, the tutorial that I'm going to be doing today is to show you how to fix your Joomla 4 website if you install a plugin or an extension that damages the website and stops you from using the website properly. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration on what to do. Now the plugin I'm going to be using today is a plugin called Boy Boy Generator. And in Joomla 3, uh, this was a very popular plugin. And basically what it does is when you look at the source code of your website, you see uh, an option here, or well, you see some script up here, meta name generator, Joomla open source content management, which is not really a good thing to see on your website there. And what the plugin did, the boy boy generator plugin, what it did was let you uh, rename that and call it the site name instead of having Joomla open source content management. Now, that worked great in Joomla 3, but obviously it doesn't work in Joomla 4. So I'm going to break my Joomla 4 website and then I'm going to show you how to recover from it. So what you do is let's install the actual plugin first. So we'll go to um, extensions and we'll install the actual plugin and it will say that it's now installed so we need to enable that plugin so if we go into plugins and there's bye bye there is there so if we enable so as you can see we go to the dashboard there everything's working fine we go into plugins and there's bye bye generator and if we uh, enable the enable this we won't do anything with it we'll just enable it and we'll save it bang it's now damaged or corrupted the actual uh, Joomla 4 backend admin now if I go to dashboard nothing is it doesn't return it won't let me go to the dashboard this uh, error message comes up there and I can't do anything if I go into system I can't do anything at all so it's completely uh, damaged the backend of the Joomla uh, admin screen so what do we need to do to recover from this so we can actually disable the plugin and then remove it from your site well what we have to do is we have to get into the backend database of the actual website uh, which I have here so this is the PHP my admin and I'm into the actual Joomla 4 demo which is the actual website and what we need to do is we need to find the extension so we can disable it so if we go down the list here and we look for in the database and we look for extensions this number here the j6480 is just the actual and uh, the starter for the database don't worry about that what you want to look for is extensions is what we have here okay so there's extensions there okay so what we need to search for in extensions is we need to search for the the actual plugin which is called boy boy generator so if we go to search and then we we need to look for the actual name of the actual plugin so what we do here is where you have name here we want to do just a general search so if we change like and we change it to like like sounding like something similar and we type in boy and we hit enter there's the package there there's the actual plugin package in the list and if you come over here you'll say you'll see that it says enabled equals one well we want to be able to change that and we need to say enabled equals a zero to disable the plugin so what we do then is go over here to edit and if we go down the list we'll see enabled equals one where we just change that to a, a zero and then we just scroll down and we click on go and that will now change enabled to zero so if we go to the back dashboard of the Joomla 4 site and then click on home dashboard it's working again because the plugin has been disabled and we can confirm that by going 
into plugins and there's boy boy generator and it's disabled so that's how you do it now what you would do is obviously you know that this plugin is, doesn't work and it crashes your system so you then go into that you'd find the generator you click on that and you don't install the actual plugin and it's now gone from the system okay and we're back up and running and the dashboard is working so that's just a quick demo on how if you have an extension that's causing you problems and it crashes your system how to go into PHP admin into the extensions area extensions there and then again you go into search and then you go to name and you select like and then obviously the two signs there and then you type in the plugin or the extension you're looking for and then you disable it and then you go back in so that's just a quick demo on how to do that just in case you get into trouble i hope that was helpful cheers